today's segment we are going to discuss about access control list so basically access control list contains these things so what we can do is uh, this access control list uh, work as a firewall so go to the topology i am i have designed a topology where three routers are connected with each other so pc1 if i go to pc1 you can see if you type ip config you can uh, see the ip address now it will be successfully pin 2.10 or 3.10 that's another two pcs so this is my topology and i'm going to show that how this can be blocked this access can be blocked to show further let me take uh, one more uh, server here for example uh, i come here and take a server now for example this is i am having a web server so if i have if i am having web server so let's connect this web web server now after connecting this web server let me give a ip address which is nothing but 1.2 for example i am giving ip address 1.2 to this web server and make this as a dns server also as well so what i can do i can go and configure the services so there are several services so let's go to http service and uh, here we can actually change this uh, edit this particular file so what i'm doing i'm changing the color uh, making it red now font size i'm making it a little bit increasing it and uh, typing welcome to spsc spsc now simultaneously uh, i can write few things uh, uh, welcome to SPAC Cisco Networking Academy for example I am writing here so I am saving it um, and now going to configuration giving a name for example www.spacu.ac.in and giving IP address that is 1.2 and add it and making it on now what i can do this web server is ready now since this is ready i can go and check whether this is allowed or not so for example cisco packet tracer is written welcome to spc cisco networking academy i can change the color let's go and change the color so that it looks good so let's go to http and go and type not edit here you can actually change the font color so so we are for some time you can change the color and make it blue make it blue and this will create lot of impact so go and type the same one www.spac.ac.in if i type you can see i made some changes and simultaneously i can go in any pc and type in the web browser and this will give me the same now we can try it, try it from here also if it is working so or using 192.168.1.2 will display the same or you can type the name 
now coming back to this now this is what we can do we can configure the access control list that is acl to do some blocking on it for example now i want that this this particular pc should not get this web server access okay i can still do it uh, now at this juncture every everyone is getting that uh, i access of 192.168.1.2 and see that website and this is for packet tracer welcome to SPC Systems Networking Academy I want to block in some of the PCs so I can do it so this we are going to demonstrate so we will talk about two access control list one is standard and one is extended ACL now what is ACL basically if you look into the ACL ACL is access control list there are two types one is called standard and one is called extended now these two can be also in the form of name or number okay so if i take into the number i have to specify a number in between 1 to 99 or 100 to 199 if it is this this is standard and if it is this in between 100 to 199 this will become extended ACL now ACL works in IP, IPX and Apple talk. Now when we talk about uh, extended ACL, we can have a list part, part port, part protocol, part direction. Now ACL must be defined on IP, part, part port, protocol, part direction. So ACL what you do, access control is control the traffic from one direction to another direction. For example, uh, we have created a topology here. Now this topology you can see we have three router R1 which is connected to this particular LAN which I say LAN1 this is connected to for example R3 and R2 this is LAN2 and LAN3 now what standard can do standard see there is a connection from LAN1 to LAN2 there is a connection from LAN1 to LAN3 there is a connection from LAN1 to LAN3, then LAN2 to LAN3. Now ACL can work for this, this connection, this connection and this connection. So standard ACL works on source only, whereas extended ACL works on destination, part protocol, part direction. So let's discuss. So what we can do in ACL, for example, this is a port. This ACL can be implemented here to block certain network. So there can be two types of lists that accept or deny. So we can create a hierarchy of access and deny. We will slow, slowly come to that. So this is my normal data link layer packet where we have uh, data link layer, uh, we have frame header, then we have IP header, then TCP header. So TCP header we can block or allow for a specific port number in IP we can block a particular ICMP packet whereas we can block in IP also source and destination address so this works okay and we can create a hierarchy so ACL decision points are source address destination address UDP or TCP protocol and we can have the port numbers so we can actually write like this so how ACL works for example, a packet is coming in a specific access group. It will first test different list and if it is yes, then it will permit or if it is no, not, then it will be discarded. So ACL is actually a group of statement that define whether packets are accepted or rejected from coming from any interface or leaving an interface. ACL statement are operated in sequential and logical order now if ACL statements are unmatched then there is an implicit denial so always there is an implicit denial if I particularly if I create an ACL and if I do not allow them and that is the reason when ACL is used in case of NAT we have to give it uh, we have to uh, 
uh, create a access control list for that particular network and allow them all so that uh, NAT can do the proper work. Now access list statement evaluate each and every packet in top down approach. It does not uh, block any uh, packets that original only originate within the router. So within the broadcast domain if you want to block something you have to write some different access control list but uh, within that network it is not implicitly it is not working. So two types of ACL we can see that standard IP ACLs which can only filter source IP addresses or source network where extended ACL can filter source IP address, destination IP address, protocol port numbers and other parameters of it. So how to configure ACL, standard ACL. So let me do one thing. Let me check out what networks we are creating. For example, this R1 is having connected with some PC. Now, I want this PC1 should not get connection to okay, any of the network. So, if I implement here, this PC cannot, this PC cannot be send or communicate with any other network. So I want this PC1 should not communicate with this particular network. So I will create a ACL in router 1 okay, or I can create in router 3. So let's see the difference. So first go to router 1 and create that ACL. So how to create a ACL? First you have to type enable, then config T, then you have to create an ACL. Access list then it will ask whether you want to create standard or extended. You can give any number. So ACL number one, for example, it will, by default, it will create by default or not by default. It is actually a standard access list. So it will only either permit or deny. First, I am writing deny. What I am denying? After deny, I can. Uh, deny a particular post. So I am writing 192.168.1.1. This is a host. Now, after that, I have to permit any because that, that is what I have to do. Now, permit any. Now, this is a source packet which will come from PC1. Now, at this juncture, if, if you go and see, it can actually pin 3.10 or 2.10. If I block this, then both the ping will be stopped. So if I go and uh, implement in the outgoing port, that is serial 000 or 001, for example, for example, if I go to serial 000 and if I write access group, IP access group, now this is the number and if I write out, so this will be implemented. Now after that, let's see what happens in the case of pinging. So 2.10, it can still ping because I have implemented this in the port where 3.0 network is there. Now if I go and ping 3.10, so now let me check. Uh, IP access group out, uh, then I, let me check, show access lists, so it is doing what, it is, uh, denying this particular post, now, uh, let's do the little implementation in R1 and, and O and Type it in the case of serial 000 and type no IP access group because this is always implemented. No IP access group 1 out because this is always implemented in case of in. So I have to go and type IP access group 1 and in. Then, if I go and um, ping, you can see it will be blocked. 
is not yet blocked so but uh, we have actually written to show IP to show accessed lists it is actually it need to block 1.1 sorry I, I made a mistake uh, typing 1.1 uh, to 1.10 sorry so let me uh, you know go and uh, check it out so let me do one thing so I have written a wrong configuration so I have to write IP access list I am doing what access uh, list. I am creating one and then type no IP, no access list one. So now go and type show run. I hope there is no access list there. Now config T, the IP address was wrong. Now access list one then deny host ip was wrong now 192.168.1.10 it has to be then permit any otherwise there will be implicit deny now permit any now after that if i ping it again it should not ping now so you can see it is showing destination host unvisible. Okay, so let's do go and do one thing. Uh, now let's go and go and uh, do one thing. Let's uh, type no IP access group one in. Now you can let's ping and check it out whether it is working or not so it is now pending now I, I let's implement the same in the port of serial 000 and type the same IP access group 1 it will be out because it will be audible in packet so I wanted to demonstrate that it is blocking only one area that's for example 3.10 it will still ping but 2.10 it will not ping so let's go and ping 2.10 it will show destination post unreachable why it is doing because when it is going towards 2.10 at the outgoing packet what it is what is happening now this packet is coming this packet is coming this packet is coming so whenever it is coming out from this router and going inside so here it is blocked otherwise this packet can move to this particular network and there is no blockage so let me just write for example this is 192.168.1.10 this particular IP address is going to this particular router 1 now router 1 has Gigaport 00 when I am I have implemented in the Gigaport 00 okay all pinging option was blocked now what I have done for example serial 000 I have created the access list here so when the packet is coming it is not blocking so packet can come here when it is at the incoming stage it is not blocking when it is going out it is being blocked so this packet now can move anywhere when it is going out of signal 000 it is blocked so that is the reason you can see whenever we have created this this is the ip access group what we have created so now you can go and check it out that's show ip access lists so it is doing what it is 
blocking 1.10 but it is implemented where if you go and check it show run it is implemented show run it is implemented like this is ip access group out so at serial 000 so when it is going out of this particular port it is being blocked and that is what you can do so creating standard access list what you can do you can create access list with access list number giving permit and deny and this particular access group you have to go and specify in that particular port so we have so far shown that how to create access list which is a standard list now whenever we uh, block a particular network now let's do let's do little more modification now let's do little more modification so i am uh, introducing one more pc here and this is for example pc4 and this can be given ip address so this particular ip address is 1.10 and i am giving a particular ip address which is nothing but 1.3 Now, what will happen? Again, I, I need to clear that config T and now no IP, no access list one. Okay, now do show now, sorry, show IP access lists. There is no access list present. And show run, you can see only and there is access group. Okay, that might be there at this serial 0, 0, 0 No issues. Now I will create a subnet. Now what I will do, I will create a subnet. How? Let me tell you. Now we have a set of IP address. So for example, if I am writing 192.168.0.0 slash 24, the entire network will be blocked. We have to use wildcard mask. I want that first four PCs to be blocked. Or um, we can do one, one thing that uh, we can uh, block uh, 192.168.0.0.0. Uh, is multiple of four, for example. So 0 0.4. Four. So four to eight. So I can take any IP address in between this. So let's take it as five. And I need to block the IP address zero dot four and zero dot zero dot zero dot three is wildcard mask. So what it will do? It will block four to seven. Okay. So 192.168.0.0 in this network, I need to block this particular range. So let's go and do it. So let's type config t, then write access list 1 deny. I, I need to deny 192.168.0.4 and 0.0.0.0. Sorry. 0.3 so a specific, specific list will be blocked now permit any already access list is being created so let's do it will be dumping in so pc4 if i go and type ping ping 192.168.3.10 this is pinging. Now 2.10, let's go and ping. 2.10. This is IP address 1.5. So whenever I have created this, show access list, it will deny 0 to 4 to 5. So it should deny this particular PC. So let's go and type 2.10. This is not yet blocked. This 
this is not equal to a block. So there might have some mistakes in this configuration. So let's go and uh, configure access list. No access list one. No access list one, and we can create access list one. Then denied one ninety two dot one sixty eight. Let me just copy and paste it again once more. Copy and paste. Then go to Gigaport zero 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 and type IP access to one. In. Now after that, it should not allow. Let's go and check it out. It is allowing or not? This is still allowing. So do not then. This is the IP address. So let's go and check it. it may have some issues with the configuration, otherwise it should uh, allow. So no. Access lists one. So I'm removing that access list, and this is also required at uh, this particular juncture. And uh, I need to remove this and reconfigure it again. So now let's see show run and check whether it is working or not. Still there, no access. Signal zero zero zero. I need to add right now and negate this one and. and save this configuration. Now let's do one thing. Let me just go and configure with the this is what all about wildcard mask. I will go and uh, use wildcard mask while I'll configuring uh, extended list access list. So this is my wildcard mask where whenever we are actually creating some access list it, it should have a ma matching pattern. So when it is matching, it will check, and when it will not do, so sometimes it's such issues in packet pressure, otherwise it should work properly. So this is one of the example of uh, inbound and outbound access list. So in this slide I will share with you, you can actually test and do. Now we will come back to the next slide which is uh, verifying we have done uh, then uh, now standard ACL we have more or less uh, discussed now we can discuss extended ACL whenever we configure extended ACL we will be given number which is 100 to 199 so we can block protocols like FTP, LNET and all now I want uh, I want to create some access list in, in this particular fashion now I want that I want I want to create something like first 192.168.3.10 should not ping 192.168.1.2 and 192.168. Two dot ten should not 
एक्सेस प्लेट सो लेट्स क्रिएट ए सीएम सो दिस थिंग्स लेट्स क्रिएट मो एंड क्रिएट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर राउटर सो आईपी सो एक्सेस लिस्ट आई हैव टू क्रिएट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट क्रिएट 100 okay then we have to deny who we have to deny we have to deny what deny we can if i want to deny ping icmp then who i need to deny in the host that is 192.168.3. for example 10 then what is the destination host destination host Should to be one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two. Okay. Then after that, we need to write. If I if this deny, then it it will be equal. So uh, let's take an help of another thing that is Notepad, and let's copy and paste it in Notepad. So first, we are creating a hierarchy of uh, IP. Let's create a bigger one. Let's create a access list. Access list, hundred deny ICMP host. So this is what do I mean by this? This is deny ICMP packets. This is called source address, and this is called destination address. So three dot ten cannot ping one dot. Similarly, let's create one more uh, access list. That's what we have told. So here we can we have already mentioned that this three dot ten should not Ping one dot two. That is the reason they have written this. Now let's come back and do one more thing. That is the second one. So again, I am creating access list hundred deny. What to deny? We have to deny for here we need to write TCP. Again, post. Who is the source? One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot two dot ten. Then again, host home one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two. What it will ask? What you want to do? You want to write equal. Then www. So second one is actually doing what? This is blocking. This is blocking the source that is two dot ten. Get access that is www and rest. You need to allow all now. Where you need to implement now access list hundred. Now you have to permit. Uh, let's type permit IP any. So now where we need to implement this is this will be implemented here. So I have to write IP access group. Okay, then hundred, then out. So this need to be implemented in Giga Port zero zero. So you need to understand now why Giga Port zero zero because this is where this is where the router lists all the servers and PCs are connected. Now let's go and check it whether it is actually really doing or not. PC two. 
let's go and type IP config. This is 2.10. So what you have done? 2.10 should not have access to that network. So 2.10, we have to go and type 192.168.1.1. And you can see if you go and type this address. So better uh, we can attach one more PC here to help you out whether this is working or not in this particular network. So let's go and you know, connect this particular PC. But before that, let's give an IP address that's 2.5. Dot five and we'll go to that web browser and like one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two. This is coming. So you can see now go to PC two and type the same. Let's see what happens. Go and it is not this is not coming so that means this is giving request time up. that means my ACL box now right, well, let's go and uh, type IP config and here in this case this should be this should be able to ping 192.168. this should not ping 1.2 and if I ping this type in destination goes undisabled and if I am extending this network by adding one more IP at one more PC so and providing IP address in the network so we can easily demand or we can easily say that this particular is working or not let's go and ping ping 192.168. 1.2 this should start pinging request time lock is not an issue also you can ping from here ping 192.168.1.2 this is pinging go to pc6 pinging so only this ping has been blocked so this is how we can create access control list. So what is happening here in this access control list? You can see we have created router one. Now this router one is connected with 192.168.1.2. This is my destination. So this is my out. So that is the reason we have created this one at gigaput 00 as out. Now what is happening? This there is a PC, there is a PC. Now what we have done? This is source, this is destination. So what we have done? We have created access control list to block this particular source, so that this particular PC kit should not get a web access. And simultaneously, what we have done? This particular source we have blocked. So this packet is coming and block at this particular. Okay at this particular port and this is also coming and blocking at this at this port so all the packets filtered here when it is trying to get access to this particular destination and that is the reason we have created extended access list in this particular fashion so you can see this is how we can create extended access list now extended access list is filtering data so this is how can create access list like 101, 109 TCP. So this is actually 1.0. It is now this is any means destination any means. This particular PC should not able to get internet access at all. So this is blocking all the internet access for this particular network. Or if I am blocking a particular PC. Now this is same time. No one should get 1.0. 25 uh, for example FTP connections so we can 
we write this copy and paste so this is also done so i want deny tcp any ft1 dot for example so this can also block ftp connection to that particular server so i cannot actually download or upload anything simultaneously this is this i can do but finally i have to write like this that is to allow rest so 100 like any any so this is a set of access list which is working on that particular port okay and which is permitting and denying several several instructions so this is what my access control list so these are the matching that any destination host equal to match only packets on a given port number greater than uh, if, you, if you are specifying greater than less than or not equal to a given range it, it can work on specific port numbers so this is how where different different port works in case of extended AC so these are the diff okay uh, destined port number you can work on this and uh, finally that is access group uh, in or out where uh, you need to specify that where you want to create access control list for example if you are creating it here in R1 so now you have to specify that in outgoing port of R1 that is 100 and that is uh, giga port 00 you need to block that and that is what you are doing here in this case so you can also block grid routing updates this is the command you can have other things also so basically source and destination address you need to block so you can block ftp ftp data anything so we have something called name list you know, the same thing we can configure using name list so this is the format of creating name list you have to tell whether extended or standard this is how you can create a name ACL. So where to place ACL is placing, uh, playing a huge role. So this is basically when you need to place standard or extended ACL. So you need to normally standard ACLs are applied on the nearer to the source, as well as destination nearer to the destination is basically extended ACL. So so you can actually create. ACL on, on the packet flow, whether it is incoming or outgoing, this is how the firewall it can work like. Now, you can also create such configuration to block access class. This is, for example, uh, you can actually do it. For example, and there is a router one, you need to um, block any access list if you want. You can create this. Uh, this is what called access class. You need to specify access class. This can get a okay uh, telnet connection. So if you want to block telnet connection, okay, you can uh, create uh, access. You can also create extended ACL or standard ACL. So standard ACL is blocking everyone. So this is you are securing router and to block all the virtual terminal on, on router one. This is how you can actually secure your network and this is how you can create different SEO. Thank you.